It's a huge thrill. It's a, it's a ride and it's, a, it's an adventure, but it's also a character piece and it's very emotional as well, which we're really proud of. Yeah, uh, great new characters. Um, uh, also, though, there is kind of Caesar's legacy bleeds into this film, so I think those audiences that know the first three films are going to really like that too. This movie is the next step in the evolution of how we tell this story, going deeper into ape culture, uh, creating a fuller world, showing some amazing visuals, but also showing this transition as we go forward to a new set of, uh, of apes that we're going to be following. It's obviously a, uh, a gigantic VFX movie, so with that comes a lot of performance capture and technology and odd things that look really silly when you're shooting it, but uh, you know, we shoot in real locations to keep everything looking real. And we have the best visual effects company in the world, and Weta, to uh, convert all these amazing performances by our actors into these incredible apes that you see on screen. It's a slightly different tone. It's a different kind of scope of movie. It's like things are, you know, we're, yeah, we're in a radically different part of the world or time-wise. And I just think like the sort of see how they kind of react to like you know the new the newness of it all. I kind of like and I'm hoping that they are as happy about it as. I am. You've got a very fun adventure story to look forward to. I think this is, a, this is taking like a different turn from the previous trilogy. I think we're looking at a very fun, exciting romp through uh, a, 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 a future of this planet that we, we haven't seen yet, which is really good. Yeah, it's great. There's a lot more dialogue in this, so yeah, you should be able to relate to the characters a lot more. It's going to be a great new adventure. This is my, let's see, fourth film with Wes. And, you know, when you have a collaboration like that, you don't traditionally start normally when we would start. We start so much earlier. I mean, I'll, I'll start with Wes when he's just getting kind of some general ideas about the film, even before he's really gotten deep into it. So I was doing ADR, and uh, Wes said, you know what, why don't you watch the scene before we start doing ADR on it? And uh, all of a sudden, Proxis Miss came onto the screen, and I froze in... My eyes watered up, and I was just like, oh my God, like I've been working my whole career trying to really hone my craft to because I love disappearing in characters. It's my favorite thing. And um, this one, I really got to disappear. This was the most joyous film to, to work on. All the actors are such lovely people, and Wes is such an intelligent director. He's visually geni a genius but also is able to give such fantastic direction and I was e really able to lean on him and the cast so it's the it's my best experience so far everything that we were that we were developing in in ape school was in service of who we were playing which is why when you watch the movie you know every single one of us has a slightly different way of moving a slightly different way of, of standing and behaving um, so it was a really specific process that that you know we found through improvisation with each other and, and through you know thinking about who these characters were on the inside whether you like these movies or not it's the best and the brightest doing the best they've ever done they've moved the technology forward um, and the guys that we're in this film. They went to ape camp, you've heard about it, for two, two months, and they were stunning. I was only on the thing for about a week, but um, it's filmmaking at its highest level. It really is. I just landed in L.A. a couple of days ago, and so, like, the billboards everywhere and, like, the horses on the beach, it's just insane what they're doing. And, like, even this, I'm like, whoa! And also seeing all the cast members again, we, like, are such a little family, so it's really special to be like, oh, my God, my apes are back! The experience of doing the model capture, getting to uh, work with Andy Circus, and he was helping us with finding the, the movement and the physicality of it, the voices, it was... Like one of the one of the experiences as an actor I've enjoyed the most. West is just such a visual genius. Um, I think what's amazing about it is it's a new era. You know, it's just a great new kind of dive into this franchise. We shot this about uh, I think a year and a half ago, so it's been good to to be in America. It's my first time in America, and I'm just really excited to yeah to show what we created, what the team has created. It's so lovely to be able to represent so many people who's had a little hand in the pie, you know. So 
it's a charm, I'd say. I saw it the first time uh, last week. I, I did some ADR and some post stuff, and you see it, and it, it's, it's, it's like magic. I'm just like, I can't believe that they did this, and I'm, I feel like a little a kid watching this. It's, it was really like magic. It's like the culmination of almost five years of work. Uh, it's, it was the most amazing cast and crew I've ever worked with. And so being here tonight is really like, it's like partly a relief that like the process is done, but sad because now we, you know, who knows when we'll all work together again. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah.